NJCDC transformed me by giving me a voice. I was born and raised in the city of Patterson. As a child, I attended the Boys and Girls Club where we learned a lot about community service. When I went into high school and I was no longer a member of the Boys and Girls Club, I always looked for that next family. When I joined the Patterson Youth Council, I found that family. The advisors were like big brothers. There was more to the Patterson Youth Council than meetings on Saturdays and going to city council meetings. We were a family and we still are a family because most of us are still in contact with each other. High school students go through a lot and they don't know where to turn or who to turn to. And I'm lucky enough to be able to say that being a member of the NJCDC family, I had numerous people to turn to. I came to NJCDC at a very, very difficult time in my life. There was a lot going on and I remember the nights when we would have our youth council meetings. When the meetings were over, I would just sit here and just be at peace. I was afraid to speak publicly. I was afraid to speak my mind. And I was just like a turtle in its shell, just learning how they work in the community and how they have a voice. Inside, I had a voice, and by joining the Youth Council, that voice was able to come out. And now, I'm one of the youth leaders in Patterson. Since leaving NJCDC, I work more in the community on different levels with law enforcement, public service. I feel more comfortable speaking to people on all different levels, from Congressman Pascrell to Mayor Jeff Jones and everyone in between. I went from being the person whose life was changed by NJCDC to joining the team of life changers. I am about to graduate from college with a degree in criminal justice at Felician. So my next step is giving back to my community as a law, law enforcement officer and also continuing to work with NJCDC on improving the quality of life in Patterson. Thank you NJCDC for giving me a home away from home. And gay CDC them for my life by helping me to develop self confidence. I moved to Hotel Heights in December 2010 because my parents were moving back. To the, to the Dominican Republic. And back there, there's not a lot of opportunity for people with disability. Moving here was a little challenging because I, at home, I used to be with my parents. My mom did all the cooking. <laughs> so, once I was on my own, I had to cook. Oh my God. It was a little tough. Little by little, I kept boiling the painting and I started to make my own meals. Since I have passed out in Gacy's Houghton, I became more independent. I have more confidence in myself living on my own. I went to Passaic County College and I got my degree in liberal arts. Then I traveled to William Paso and I got my degree in communication and English minor. My dad's goal is to start my own nonprofit to help people with disability to attend college and hopefully to help them to find a job. They go NJCDC for giving independence. NJCDC transformed me by allowing me to serve my community.
I grew up in Patterson, New Jersey. I am a graduate of Garrett Morgan Academy. When I was at grammar school, I really, I really wasn't interested too much in school. I did have street friends and I was, and I did kind of grow up in the hood. The streets never really attracted my attention. I was kind of like the middleman, like the class clown, the person who I guess would liven up the room if need be. When I was in the classrooms, I was distracted by every little thing. And that often got me in trouble. I lived in the principal's office. I applied to Garrett Morgan and it was just a different environment. They provided community service. They provided us with AmeriCorps members who end up becoming our mentors. And they kind of just showed us that you're going to go to college, you know. It's like college is an option. They provided us with people who motivated us and told us we together have to do this, you know, we have to do that. So just the change in the words, I'd say it would, have, would affect a mindset. It was definitely a positive experience and it's one that I am every day grateful for. The fact that I was able to go to a high school that kind of pushed that and that was innovative, starting new ideas, fresh, fresh projects for us to be a part of. <laughs> I'm truly blessed. I want to be that positive change in letting the next young man know that, hey, I understand you started off on this path, but this is not the end of your path. You know, it does not have to stop here. Attending Garrett Morgan Academy has let me see a side of a nonprofit organization assisting an education system that I've never seen before. I definitely would like to be a nonprofit organization owner or a CEO of one maybe one day. I definitely want to stay in the higher ed realm. Right now I'm an admissions counselor and I'm also a hall director, uh, but I have bigger fish that I want to uh, end up fishing for. Thank you NJCDC for motivating me to be a better person.